The Toronto Blue Jays need to make big changes this offseason, whether it's firing coaches and front office people, and also making some trades and signings this offseason with the lineup to make things better. Because scoring one single run in the playoffs, in two games in the playoffs, is unacceptable. There's no way around it. You cannot be happy with that. I mean, that is just an absolute joke that you score a single run in two playoff games especially zero in a must-win scenario. You literally score nothing when you have multiple chances with guys in scoring position, bases loaded. When we had so many chances to drive in a run and we just could not do it. Now, yeah, that one, you know, would have been a double by Matt Chapman. It was, well, like eight inches off the line, I think. So it was extremely close, but we didn't score any runs in that last game there. And it was very unfortunate and very frustrating to watch as a fan. But Basically, what I'm saying here is we have to see big changes. I'm not okay with just, you know, firing John Schneider and then maybe, yeah, Brandon Belt and Whit Merrifield and Chapman walk. We bring back KK and, you know, let some of the young guys like Schneider, Barger, maybe Arelvis, who knows, you know, those guys kind of come up and play as well. We can't just do that. We need to have some big changes. The whole entire hitting coaching staff needs to be gone from, you know, Guillermo Martinez, who is the hitting coach, to Dave Hudgens, who is the you know, supposed to be a uh, hitting strategist or whatever you want to call it, but obviously he didn't do very well either. So both those guys have to be gone. I'm not going to name every single hitting coach there is on the team, but those guys probably should go as well. I mean, it was just horrendous what happened there. And I really don't think I'm over exaggerating here. I mean, scoring zero runs in a must win scenario is an absolute joke. So personally, I want to see John Schneider fired first off. He needs to go. I mean, he seems like a good guy, but this is professional you know, sports here. It doesn't matter if you're a good guy or not. It's about getting the wins, especially when it matters most in the playoffs. And so far, he is 0 for 4 with two sweeps and multiple very like just atrocious losses. It's not like he's just lost. Schneider has. I mean, last year was an absolute collapse. Game one, you lose 4 nothing, And then obviously game two against the Mariners, we have the insane big collapse losing 10-9 in that game. And then this year, you score one run in the first game, and then he makes this very questionable move here, obviously. And yes, I know it wasn't just John Schneider, I'm sure, making that decision. I'm sure it was Ross and all the other front office guys as well and some other guys like that who were in the analytics department and all that kind of stuff who said, yeah, we're going to make this move before the game even started, I'm sure. But John's a part of it. I'm sure Ross was a part of it. I'm sure there's a lot of other coaches that were a part of it as well. And whoever was... It was a big mistake because obviously that didn't help, but I know we can't win a game without scoring a run. So that's why I go back to firing the hitting coaches and the strategist, Dave Hudrens, Guillermo Martinez. They both need to be gone as well as probably the rest of the hitting staff of, you know, coaching staff as well. And then so basically I'm saying, yeah, you, you fire all the hitting guys, the hitting coaches, you fire John Schneider, and then you move on to Ross Atkins. Now, Ross has made some good moves. The Jose Brio steal was fantastic. Signing Chris Bassett, Looks like a great move. Signing Kevin Gosman over Ray. I was a fan of that at the time, and obviously it worked out extremely well. But then there's the Varsho deal. Now, I know a lot of people are going to defend that and say it was a good move. And yes, I understand we had by far like the best outfield defense in the league, and our overall defense finished like, I think it was like top seven or something, like in a, maybe seventh place, something around there. So it was a lot better than last year. I understand that. But let's be honest here the base running was still pretty awful this year especially in the playoffs when it mattered most so that is another issue there the defense has been pretty solid yes this year but obviously the offense took a big massive hit and I have some numbers to prove that here so this past season the Jays scored 746 runs which is 14th in the entire MLB last year the Jays finished fourth place with 775 runs now you might go hey okay that's only you know 29 less runs that's not that many. But here is the big drop here. This is the big numbers here to take a look at. From 2023, the average team runs like you know, per team was 748. In 2022, the average team scored 694. That is over a 50 run drop on average per team. That is a huge drop overall from 2022 to 2023. There was 1,621 more runs scored in, across the entire MLB. So what I'm trying to say here is the overall offense in the entire MLB dropped by over 1,600 runs and of over 50 runs per team on average, and the Jays dropped by about 29 overall from 2022 to 2023. 
So the Jays' offense got a lot worse. I mean, we were fourth last year in 2022. This past season, we were 14th. That is a major drop-off for a team who is supposed to have an elite offense. That is an absolute joke. Coming into this year, I thought we were going to have at least like a top three or four, at least five kind of offense, worst-case scenario. Obviously, we were much worse than that, so there needs to be some big changes in that department. I will have a ton of videos this offseason talking about some potential trades, some potential free agent signings, although the free agency is not looking great, especially for hitters. That is a fact, but I'll still have some videos on that, some trade ideas, all that good stuff, as well as other updates talking about, hopefully, when John Schneider and Ross are fired, which I definitely want them to be gone. I know Ross, like I said, has made some good and some bad moves, but for the most part, it has not worked out. Ross has a single playoff win since joining the Blue Jays back in 2016, which was his first year. He joined, I think it was November of 2015. So his first actual season was 2016. And that wasn't even his really team that got that one playoff win that lost 4-1 in the ALCS as well. So obviously things have not worked out. Ross has a single playoff win, which wasn't even really his team. And you know, since 2020, we are 0-6 and we've been swept three different times in the wildcard round. That is not good enough. This is professional sports here. This is not, you know, U11 soccer. You're just kicking around the ball. Everyone gets a participation ribbon and trophy, right? No, this is not that. Millions of dollars getting paid to these players. The front office guys like Ross and John, I'm sure, are getting paid quite well. So this is not some feel sorry for these guys because they're not getting the job done. It's about winning and it's about winning when it matters most. And this team has not done so. So you got to move on. We've seen the Red Sox. They moved on from their guys because they were winning enough and getting the job done. We have to do the same. John needs to go. Ross needs to go. I hope people aren't really defending Ross anymore. I know he's made some good moves, like I said, but for the most part, it has not worked out. And that's what matters most is results. So that's obviously an issue. And then Mark Shapiro was the last guy I want to talk about here in this video. I don't really care. I, I would rather probably see Ross or not Ross, sorry, Mark Shapiro get fired as well and just kind of clean house, get a new guy in, but keep the pitching staff because obviously they've been phenomenal. So I can't see any changes there. But if we do fire, you know, Mark, I'm fine with that. If we don't, I'm not going to be too upset about that because for the most part, he's, you know, the renovations guy. He's doing more like the day-to-day -day business kind of stuff, not necessarily like, you know, making like the trades and, and signings like Ross was, but I know he was, I'm sure was a part of it and then maybe a part of the analytics and stuff. Who really knows? But I just think that overall, if Mark's gone, whatever. If he's not, okay. But personally, I need to see John Schneider fired. I need to see Ross Atkins fired. I need to see pretty much everyone involved with the hitting you know, side of things. The coaches, the strategists, all those guys need to go as well. We need to clean house here. We need to get a fresh start. Big changes need to come, whether it's trades, signings. A lot of stuff needs to change here because this team cannot you know, collapse like this and pull this crap again next year. Otherwise, it's gonna really suck because it, it sucks watching this team do this for back to back years now and three or uh, like, like three you know postseason runs in a row. Hopefully things can change for next year though. We need to upgrade this offense. The defense is great. The pitching is great. We need some more offense in this team though. That is for sure. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for daily Toronto Blue Jays content. Even throughout the dead of the offseason, I will try and have a video out every single day. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see ya.